how did you get involved with this project? Well, I always dreamed of making a Hercules movie, actually, or a movie in the genre, because when I was a kid, I used to draw comic books, and I loved Superman. So I once drew a comic book that said Superman versus Hercules. And so I think it was almost my destiny to do it. And then MGM called me and they said, we want you to read a graphic novel. I read it and I thought, wow. I said, this is a unique version of Hercules. This is worthy because there's been 40 versions between television and movies and show, you know, many, many different variations and cartoons that I thought it needs to be something special. And this was the story that I thought was worth it. What changes do you think were necessary to make to the story so that it would appeal to this generation? I think what, what the graphic novel did, it contemporized it. It made it more relatable because, you know, when you start off as a character, as a god, as a half-man, half-god, as a demigod, it's not very relatable, right? So as a guy who's not a non-believer, who has to find the belief in himself in order to become a hero, that's an interesting character I think that audiences can relate to. Do you have a favorite Hercules besides Zane? Um, I think Dwayne is the definitive Hercules for this generation. I think Steve Reeves was amazing as Hercules. I don't think the I think those movies were very much flawed, you know, and they focus more on fantasy, um, which is kind of the trend. And we kind of went in the other direction. But Steve Reeves was a fantastic Hercules. What a body he had. You know? well, so does Dwayne. Yeah. <laughs> Now we know that uh, Dwayne got injured right before filming, yeah. and I was talking to him about that. But on your side, on production, was it scary? Scary, yeah, because you don't know his limitations. You don't want to push him too hard. He can hurt himself. You know, you want to make sure that he's safe. I don't want to be the one injuring Dwayne Johnson. You know, he has a lot of fans out there. Mm -hmm. They can, they can come after me. So, for me, it was it was it was a, a scary period. But then after a few weeks, he was rehabilitating himself, working out very hard, committed to keeping his his. His, um, you know, his health as far as the injury is concerned, and it, it worked out great. Do you have a favorite moment in the movie? Uh, I love the mo iconic moment of I am Hercules when he busts out because he was so committed to that moment and he brought the performance there. It was amazing. But was that a scary scene to film? Was he making just too much effort? He was. He, he, only, he passed out like maybe four or five times because he actually told the guy to actually chain him. So, because he, didn't, you know, because you could fake doing that, but he was actually pulling it from the stone. It was, it was chained that it was hammered into the stone. So it was scary because he, you know, he exerts all his energy and then he, he almost faints. You know, it was. I'm like, what's wrong with you? And he goes, I can't pull the chains out of the. In your movie, there's one character that can foresee when he's gonna die. Yes. If you could do that, would you like to? No. <laughs> Even if it will make you immortal up to that point. No. <laughs> I, don't, I want it to be a surprise. I just want to be walking down the street. Boop! Oh, what happened? Okay. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. <laughs>